I don't know where I put my gloves. So I custom made this bag when I got to Nairobi so I can put everything in one bag. I called my coach this morning to come help me pack so I don't pack wrongly again. This way it's actually plenty. So you go for it, you go the way it is, and then we will adjust if anything happens. I'm not feeling it. You may then take your time. Relax. Thank you for me. The way you're just into it. So keep yourself spent. Packing the bags took some time, so we didn't leave as early as we were supposed to leave, and that made other bikers wait for us for a bit. That was a very, very stressful ride. You, you have to know that you don't have to adjust to the weight. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Baptism by fire. Yeah. <laughs> You're feeling the weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the weight. So it's kept, it's kept, it kept feeling like I am dragging it along. Like, like I'm riding a new bike. So how many of us are going straight all the way to Naivasha? My hand is up showing I have. Hopefully, halfway. Halfway, halfway is where? Halfway means where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viewpoint. 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 Yeah. Viewpoint. Yeah. For those who are coming back, you'll just come back and then I'll give the debrief again from people. Otherwise, uh, thank you for coming. We have two riders who will join us from Gitaru. I'm going to inform them, so don't feel like they are aliens. Also, we're going to have uh, strategically how we ride it but the point is this one she's the the one who will be doing us right. yes right oh, so i remember right. uh going with the what do i it's not me i'll explain you. why okay thanks. and how thank you now uh, before anything i'll just uh, welcome wasiki and then one more you'll finish good morning guys good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here. happy to escort our sister Day. Thank you. Our blessings from Kenya, our blessings throughout the uh, ride. Please enjoy. Thank you. Make it a tour. All our blessings from Kenya. Thank you. And please do not forget, uh, forget to update us Absolutely. each and every detail of your journey. I will. We will be following you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So, my first is to thank all of you for coming out to escort a bite. This is the real Ubuntu. <laughs> right? And to a writer, Mama from Kenya. <laughs> We've been so honored to have you. We are so happy that you accepted to be with us. Because you could have said no, you know. No, I couldn't. But you accepted to meet us, to be with us. We are so happy. Thank you. Always remember this is your home. When you go to Nigeria and you're thinking which other country, <laughs> it will be Kenya. Absolutely. So you come back here. We love you so much and we wish you all the best. Thank you. From my husband, our family and I, we cannot thank you enough for just coming into our lives. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, he never prepared me for this. So. <laughs> Don't preach. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much um, for all of you joining showing solidarity and uh, support. Thank you for being bold. 
who are fearless. And just the thought of it is enough. But you're going to go far. Uh, we look forward to following you. We wish you all the best. But we also want to see the updates, daily updates, so that also we can know where you are. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. On behalf of me back, she will say, Thank you, Sir Johnny, and we wish you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just uh, let her say one word or two. Um, yeah. I basically want to say thank you. When I decided to take this trip, I concentrated on the word solo a lot. I wanted to do it alone. I wanted to see what it was like. But Kenyan bikers have decided that no, you are not doing this alone. <laughs> Mubasa bikers, Nairobi bikers. And I can't express how amazing it is. I can't express how much help I've gotten. Help I didn't know I needed. Help I knew I needed. Then my fellow Nigerian biker told me sweet words in Yoruba. What I was going to say, uh, he asked me to say it in Yoruba. I know a lot of people are going to go like, ah, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to say it this way. She will understand. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. She, can do, she can do the Swahili yes, part. The version of it. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I hope you got Google Translate. <laughs> my sister, what do you about you? When you don't love, okay. enjoy journey you. I know she has a fear. Amen. We're gonna give her. It's her day. Correct. Amen. Yeah, it's her day. So she keep us here ten minutes again, please. They People use a they make this thing look so heavy, so heavy now. Uh -uh. No, it's heavy. It's heavier than before. Yeah, I can feel it. She packed she pack the whole wardrobe. You, yeah, the whole wardrobe. You're exaggerating this thing, my brother. It's supposed to be the camping. Yes, I need some snacks. You are special, bro. Not really. You know one by one. They carry snacks more. Can we get some crisps? All those things. Okay. Okay. Now, don't you just carry them? I'll be now. Thank you. Struggling with my bike. They adjusted some things. Yeah, it's not starting at one. It's not starting in gear. It's not. Okay. And that's a problem. So each, each time I stop, it goes up. Then I have to change to neutral. One. So just hold on a minute. So this cable has come out. Oh. Yellow, yellow. Yeah. You see this one? Uh -huh, uh -huh, when you're clutching, uh -huh. there's a center here. Okay. That's the information with the bike, and this wire has come out. Ready when you're ready. Uh, where are your gloves? I don't know where I put my gloves. I'm sorry, everybody. Just take it back again. You've lost your key. Where are you? Where is it? Your key? You leave. You have the key. Just hit it all over. Don't worry. As we rode, Coach Michael was the one clearing the way and assisting everyone while Kazim assisted him. Was to make the viewpoint our first stop so people who didn't want to go to Naivasha could turn there and people who wanted to would proceed with the ride. Damn, that 
That was sweet. <laughs> that was so sweet. I'm the only one whose bike is not there because I don't want to see that place. Then I, I did tell her baby, we'll come if she get to Nigeria. We might get to Nigeria before her, we get to her after. That's her. possible. But we're coming to Nigeria. And you must see me. We'll look for her. <laughs> <laughs> Then in Awira thought the viewpoint looked beautiful and we needed to do a TikTok dance. So we did it. So let's not be a gap so far, not too close that it doesn't make sense, reasonable breaking distance. But from here we're going to do easy because of the crosswinds, otherwise when it's not there, I will just definitely pull up. We want to manage for me. Ex Ex so enjoy this. this. Oh, okay. Enjoy this. Yes, yes. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> The ride from the viewpoint to our destination was totally different from the ride from Nairobi to the viewpoint. The crosswind was crazy, with every car and every truck came some wind. As we rode, I felt nostalgic. I had ridden through this road alone in a tuk-tuk. And now I am here again on two wheels. It's crazy. When I was on a tuk-tuk, I didn't know I would do this. I didn't know I would be riding with so many bikers from Nairobi on this road. Oh my God, how things change so fast. As we approached Naibasha, I looked for the policeman called Josephat who had stopped me when I was on my tuk-tuk, but didn't find him. My South Lake Road looked so familiar, it felt like yesterday. I remember riding on this road so many times. This was the place I was when my first tuk-tuk was taken away and then the second one arrived and I got sick right there in the camp and then I met the Italian couple who was so good to me. I have great memories from Naibasha.
We had been riding for a while, but it seemed like we won't arrive, so we stopped to call the manager at the camping site. You forgot. No. Don't worry, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Stand. Wow. I think you were looking for it. The bike goes where you're looking. Huh? You look there. You look there. The bike went. No, no, no. I, I bent. I wanted to put the stand down, so I bent it. Then the weight was too much. I don't think I'm used to this weight here. Why are you lying now? The bike is best. It didn't do the thing. Ah, here. Are you done? No. <laughs> the problem is the adjustment of the chain. If you adjust your chain wrongly, okay. it pulls the wheel, the rear wheel, one side. Let's see how 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 my posture is when I'm riding. How is it? Is it like this? I've got to give, give it up to you, you've tried. If this is how you've been riding... I've been riding from, from, from the... I'm, no, no. I, 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 Come here. You, you, you really... It's very uncomfortable. You're a badass. No, like this... Yo, this from, front wheel is like south. The rear is now east. Thank you. Ah, the company has said I'm in the line. I'm back. Bye! <laughs> 